music roll, cornfield, wind sways, or die, Chevrolet, rust bucket still plays. Everything gets dirty, trying to pave that way. I ain't never had a handout, never had a pick me up. Bud wash a beer bottles breaking in my pickup truck. Chip on my shoulder, rocking me a head. How's it going everybody? This is Flint from Flint and Steel Survival broadcasting one of the last videos from the old man cave. Um I might make a couple more in here, but I don't think it's going to be many. Um, I'm going to post the uh, um, update first that I shot this morning before I went to sleep. I only ended up getting five hours of sleep. I'm kind of bummed out about it. But anyway, I got two packages in box today. I got a surprise from Jason McDaniel. I was not expecting anything from him. A little bit nervous to find out what this is. Um, you didn't need to send me anything, dude. Um, but I really do appreciate it. You're an awesome guy. Um, so I can't wait to see what this is. And then I got my order from bladeplay.com, number two. Um, I'm going to be unboxing today with this neat little guy that Jake over at Dark Wolf Knives sent me. This has been like my shop knife. You know, I got my EDC on me today. My Spyderco Tenacious. And then for my Necker... I'm rocking my D-Man Customs. I just placed another order for that yellow Tonto weird looking shaped one that he got. But I have a feeling my EDC might change for a while after I open this. So I'll open this first, get it out of the way. I'll save Jason's for last because I'm most excited about it. Because I know what this is. And this is actually going to be my first of this brand. Oh, I forgot about that. I ordered this awesome um, Schmuckatelli bead. I don't know if you guys have ever seen those. The detail in them is incredible. It's real metal. And I got the one-eyed jack. Plus, I got the one that has the lanyard. Um, maybe I'll read the story real quick. About one-eyed jack. Oh. Not to hold the suspense any longer, I got me a Boker Plus. First one I've ever had, and I'm way excited about it. The story behind One-Eyed Jack. Jack leaped from the quarter deck of the pirate ship Virago onto the deck of the Spanish galleon Isabella, howling for blood. But the Spaniards were ready for him and his men. A frenzied dance choreographed 100 times before became a confused whirl of blood and steel. Clanging against steel amid a chorus of men screaming cursing and fighting. They fought long and hard that day, slipping and sliding on the bloody decks. It mattered not if they were Spaniards, merchants, or English pirates. Blades slashed at their throats, bullets whizzed by their ear, cannons digested meat from bone or and bone all in their way. They fought, they killed, they died. None left the battle unscathed, and the crew of the Virago seized the valuable prize of the hold for the price of their lost comrades or the mere loss of a limb. Or in Jack's case, his eye. All for one fortieth stake of the plunder and the daily ration of grog. A small price to pay, shouted one-eyed Jack. That is cool. I didn't expect a story. Man, I cannot believe the detail in that. That is amazing. Okay, let's get right into this guy. Oh, it looks like the box is already open. That was weird. Anyway, look at that beast. I ordered the uh, Boker Sniper Works S2. It comes with a replacement pocket clip, um, a little tool for fixing it. Oh man, that action is so smooth. Look at that ugly little bastard. <laughs> um, I've got plenty of people that I know personally that say I have an affinity for ugly knives, and I tell you what, man, that is an ugly ugly knife and I love every minute of it real uh, sturdy um, that action was real smooth I mean I don't know what I expected I've always heard good things from Boker Plus and while this handle seems really uh, I don't know unwieldy it melts into your hand oh you want to be a part of the video can't do any videos without him lately can I crawling up my back stop it That is a wicked blade. Um, I'll have to do a video after I carry this for a little while. Tell you guys what I think. It's a monster, but I cannot wait.
wait to get that in my pocket and give it some pocket time. And plus, who can go wrong with that jimping on the thumb ramp? I think this was like 54 bucks. I tell you what, this is one of the better built knives I've had in the last little while. Sniper Blade Works logo on there. Boker Plus on the other side. Sick. I'm going to use this guy to open up Jason's package. Make sure I don't cut anything. Man, that is sharp. Huh. Flint, hope you're doing great. I finally got around to sending you something. I know you said not to, but I couldn't leave you hanging. I hope you like what I sent. First thing right off the bat is a cinch sack. I replaced the original cinch and cord on it to make it better, of course, with your favorite color combo. He knows me, orange and black. Red and red is my favorite color, but anything I can get gear-wise, if I can get it in orange and black, I'm going to be a happy man. Um, just for instance, my orange and black um, K-Bar Escobar. Love that blade. Sorry, off track. Um, then the first tin is one of my eBay survival kits. The second is an updated fire kit. This is a thank you gift for everything you've done for me. On my way to become a better bush crafter. Thanks. P.S. Make sure you're recording this time. <laughs> Hope you have a great Christmas and Happy New Year. Oh, I'm recording this time, Jason. Don't you worry. If I'm not this time, I'm going to be pissed. Alright. Pop that bad boy out. All you whining. Alright, let's see what we got here. So the bottom tin, if I'm smart enough to get it open. There we go. Oh, these do screw. I thought they were just the ones that pull. <laughs> just when things are heating, they always leave just when things are heating up. That makes me smile, man. That's awesome. Cannot tell what is in here, but it looks like you've left a tab. Oh, it's a match striker. So I can see some matches, some dryer lint. Looks like. Huh. A mini bick. Oh, just for the flint striker. That's brilliant, man. Jute twine, uh, magnesium shavings, some pine sap. Oh man, I love starting a fire with pine sap, a candle, and some fat wood. Are you still whining? Shush. Doing a video. Very cool fire kit. Man, I love these tins. I didn't know they screwed like that. I thought they just popped on and off. Oh, knock it off. Alright, next up's the survival kit. We got a signal mirror, some band-aids. A nice hank of fishing line. Um, looks like another candle. Cotton. Some matches. Another striker on the top. I almost forgot to say. Uh, paracord. A zip tie. Man, oh, a razor blade. Let's see. Some duct tape. Hmm. Oh, a, f a needle. Looks like a large bag with some ranger band on it. You really want to get up here and get cut, don't you? Don't hurt yourself, dummy. <laughs> that was actually acrobatic. He was standing up on the arms of the chair. Sorry. He's distracting me. <laughs> um, some fishing uh, weight. Looks like a hook over here. Oh, and he's even got a number to six and a four. Nice yellow paracord. And then some tin foil. So, great kits, brother. You really did not have to send me anything, man. Um, <laughs> I still love this. It makes me smile. Oh, man. That's awesome. Thanks for your friendship, dude. That means more to me than anything you could have sent. You're a great guy. And uh, I really appreciated getting to know you. Um, and that goes for everybody I've met on YouTube. I don't, I'm not a material possession kind of guy. 
I'd much rather, you know, have a conversation with you once in a while than have you send me stuff. But just for this, man, I might have to send you something back. I got all that leather from Jake and I've been, you know, milling over some ideas in my head of what I want to make. So be prepared. You might get something right back. I got your new address now. And you're in trouble. So thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate your time. Um, I cannot wait to get some pocket time on this bad boy. That is just sweet. Backspacer. I think the pocket clips, in case I want to put it on this side, it's faced the other direction. Um, but I don't know why you'd ever want to do that. I'm a tip-up guy. Man, that thing is wicked. Let's do a paper cut test on my warranty. I'm even going to double up the paper. Sweet. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye.